hello dear students i am again here with the next topic of history today and that's going to be the dynasties of the south let me just give you a quick review about what did we study in our last video we studied about the dynasties in the north central and western india so these were the main ones gurjaras the palas and rashtrakutas in the central one and the western and in the northern part we uh, have also studied about their struggle and then few more we studied about isn't it the other parts and then we further moved about their military structure which uh, from where did they used to get their army or the additional troops we also studied about their administration so today it's time to study the dynasties of the south fine so let's see who were the dynasties of the south during the medieval period or who came into rise and who actually fall down during these periods so let's move further think it very quick and simple as i told you these two topics we have already studied the dynasties of the south include the main three kings the main three empires can you repeat with me the chalukyas the pandyas the pallavas very good these were the main but there is one more who enjoyed the power and that was the cholas so we are going to study about four first we will be studying about these three that inki kya story hai about the chalukyas the pandyas and the pallavas so let's see what did chalukyas say they came around 6th century and they worked i mean they had their empire near maharashtra and andhra pradesh i didn't write the full Palukhesan one, he came in 543 CE. He was ultimately attacked by Rashtra, Rashtra Kutras, Kutas, from the north, and Cholas ne unko south me defeat kar diya. So ultimately, unki 12th century me kya ho gaya? They got defeated. They were very powerful, but they got defeated from 6th to 12th century. They were almost finished. This Rashtra Kutas. from the deccan deccan that means central now the next one the pandyas they were also very important this started actually from 300 bce ye bahut pehle ki baat hai fine then is they were actually the kings or the empire near to tamil nadu and karnataka they were one of the three mundevar that means they were the three kings three yahan pe the three chiefs of the family this means koi teen chief of the teen important families ke inke trade routes madurai se the so most important city was madurai inke bahut trade relations bahut powerful the they were also the you know patrons of art and literature now what is this word called ye wo log hote hain jo kisi ko support karte hain money ke liye kisi organization ya kisi activity ke liye so they were very very interested in art and literature these the pandyas then talking more about them kaise wo related the inhone poets us time ke famous famous the sangam age and sangam literature inke time to pe develop hua then menakshi temple pandyan kings ne banaya so that means they were very much interested in these things so let's study further about the pallavas who were pallavas now they came around 4th century 7th century mein their importance increased a lot kanchi was their main city they were always at war with the pandyas and chalukyas unko hamesha pandyas and chalukyas ke sath unki war rehti thi theek hai inke sath aur inke sath the pallavas ki hamesha se war rahi hai इनकी इस रीजन को लेके स्पेसिफिकली बहुत वॉर रहती थी दिस कृष्णा रीजन दो आप इनकी इंस्क्रिप्शंस पलवा डायनेस्टीज की अभी भी मिली हैं जहाँ पे इनकी जीनियोलॉजी पता चलती है दैट फ्रॉम वेयर दे स्टार्टर उनके इंसेस्टर्स कौन थे इनका भी आर्किटेक्चर जो स्ट्रक्चर था या वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा पॉपुलर था और इनका एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पर दिया हुआ है रॉट रॉक कट टेम्पल्स it came from the pallavas so let's move little further with the cholas now i am going to tell you an interesting story no badi dhyan se sunna you have to give me all your ears ready everybody very good 
so we are going to study in detail about the rise and then the decline of chola ki unki supremacy end kaise hui so let's see and in story their case study ye aapki book mein likhi hai i have given you the notes so let's see chola ka rise hua theek hai rise of chola kaise hua चोलास के नीचे ये फैमिली थी फ्यूडल वेसल्स थे जो इनको पलवास को आर्मी प्रोवाइड करते थे इनके पास कवेरी डेल्टा का रूल था कवेरी रिवर है उनके आसपास का रूल इनके पास था ठीक है दे वर हैंडलिंग दैट मुता अरी अयर दीज वर दी फैमिलीज ये पलवास के फ्यूडल वेचर थे और कांचीपुरम के एरिया में ये लोग डील करते थे इनको किसने हरा दिया इनको आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट पल्लवास इनको किसने हरा दिया चोलास ऑफ उरैय विद्या आला दिस पर्सन ही एक्चुअली डिफीटेड देम एंड कैप्चर द डेल्टा इनका जो डेल्टा था जो इन फैमिलीज के पास था चीफ्स के पास था आई टोल्ड यू कि उस टाइम फ्यूडल सिस्टम चलता था कुछ पार्ट उनको कुछ लैंड उनको दे दिया जाता था सो दैट दे कैन प्रोवाइड द आर्मी टू द किंग्स तो इन्होंने उसको डिफीट कर दिया और इस पर्सन ने अपनी एक सिटी बिल्ड कर ली नेम ऑफ द सिटी वॉज रीड इट तंजावर इट स्टार्टेड इन एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सी ई अराउंड दैट उसने सिटी बिल्ड कर ली तो इस पर्सन ने क्या किया इस टाइम पे मिडीवा मिडीवल चोला एम्पायर की फाउंडेशन रखी दिस वॉज द टाइम दिस वॉज द मेन पर्सन उसके बाद आदित्य चोला वन आया उसने टुक ओवर कर लिया पल्लवा एम्पायर को विद फाइट्स एंड वॉर ठीक है पल्वा एम्पायर को ऑलमोस्ट उसने टुक ओवर कर लिया काफी हद तक कर लिया फिर उसके बाद उसके सक्सेसर्स आई राजा राज चोला वन एंड रजिंद्र चोला वन नो दीज वर दी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रूलर्स ऑफ चोला एम्पायर इनकी डेट्स यहाँ पे दी हुई हैं ठीक है जी उसके बाद व्हाट हैपेंड राजा राज चोला और रजिंद्रा राज चोला की बहुत अच्छी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन थी फॉर मेकिंग द चोला एम्पायर राजा राज चोला के बारे में पढ़ते हैं इसने पॉलिटिकल यूनिटी दी सदर्न इंडिया को दोनों ने ही दी बेसिकली पॉलिटिकल यूनिटी दी सदर्न इंडिया को कि सदर्न इंडिया एकजुट होकर काम करने लगा जो राजा राज चोला था उसकी स्ट्रैटेजी क्या थी हिज स्ट्रैटेजी वॉज वॉर एंड कॉर्कर ठीक है लड़ाई करो और जीतो उसने किस किस को जीत लिया ईस्टर्न चालुकियाज ऑफ वेंगी द पांड्याज द चेराज ऑफ केरला लार्ज एरिया इन द डेकन एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ साइलॉन मॉडर्न श्रीलंका सो उसने बहुत सारे पार्ट्स में फाइट करी and by god's grace he actually won all those battles usne sari battles he won kari that means the chola empire became more stronger moving little further i'll tell you rajinder chola successor tha kiska raja raja chola ka to usne apne kingdom ko aur zyada strengthen kiya usne puri sri lanka jeetne ki koshish kari handi usne apna jo conquest tha puri sri lanka pe kar liya usne rulers of bengal hara diye myanmar tak usne apni jo thi army bheji theek hai he was very you know brave then but in the beginning of 13th century they lost to pandyas obviously somebody had to defeat them pandyas ko loss kar diya cholas decline mein aa gaye ultimately invasion by the delhi sultanate rulers and the rise of some other empire vijaya anagara empire in karnataka iski wajah se inki supremacy end ho gayi did you like the story would you like to have a look once again vidya ala captured the kaveri delta of the feudal vessels of pallava king he built the city here he laid the foundation of medieval period aditya chola hai usne pura पलवा एम्पायर ले लिया फिर उसके दो इम्पॉर्टेंट रूलर्स आए उन्होंने आगे ये सारे कौन कर कर लिया मेन ने रजिंद्रा ने और ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग कर दिया लेकिन अल्टीमेटली वो पांड्या से हारे और यहाँ से उनकी इन्वेजन हो गई फिर वो एंड हो गई इज इन दैट फाइन यस लेट्स हैव अ रीकैप ऑफ दिस टू डेनेस्टीज हमने तीन पढ़ी हैं उनके बारे में वी हैव रेड इट एंड आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट दैट यू हैव टू यूज योर पेज नंबर uh say 25 and till here i have taught you on page number 26 next i will just post post in another video for your reference we will be studying after this temple architecture and sculptures in the next video thank you